In this video, we're going to start talking about pivot tables. Now, we've already done a table video. You can find a link to that up above, but, but the pivot table is slightly different. So I'm going to create a new pivot table here, looking pretty much like a table at the moment. Uh, but you can see that we've got row dimensions, we've got column dimensions and metrics. So I'm going to add a few row dimensions in here. And at the moment, this is looking quite similar to how a table would look when I add additional row dimensions. But the big difference with pivot tables is I have this expand and collapse button underneath. So what the expand and collapse button does when it turns it when you turn it on is that it has different levels of hierarchy uh, for the row dimensions. So you can look at the metric, which is record count in this instance, on different levels of hierarchy, and it gives ultimate control to the user. I'm going to change this into sales and dollars. Another useful thing about pivot tables is that you can default to a, a level. So I've just defaulted into my county there and I can set that as my default. In the styling, what we can do, I'm just gonna change uh, the numbers into compact here because when I bring in my row dimension, there's gonna be a lot of numbers in here, is that you can highlight uh, your selection. So essentially with what this does is it tells the user, I'm looking at this figure, this is what it pertains to in city and country. And really useful later on when we get to a uh, column and row dimensions and lots of levels of hierarchy, you can see exactly what that figure is. I'm gonna bring category into my column dimension and now you can see the full pivot table in action. So you can really find lots of figures in here and you can see the highlight as well is super useful. So you can really find whatever figures you want in here. There's lots of levels to go down, very useful tool um, to go find any figure you want. When you're dealing with something with this much data, I'd always stick on the totals. So you can stick on the totals and rows and columns. You can sort however you want, uh, sort from rows and then sort from the columns as well. Um, so lots of customization options here. Once we're dealing with this many figures, we're gonna be dealing with missing values and what we can do with the styling in Data Studio is that we can designate what we want the missing data to show at. So now it's showing as a dash, we could have it showing as null, we could have it showing as no data, or we could have it showing as blank. If I wanted to take this data and analyze it in Excel, I'd normally change to zeros here. So then I, all my sums would work and I wouldn't have to change format and all that sort of stuff. So I've got to set all these um, decimal places to zero just so we can see this a little bit better. And what I'm going to do now is show you what I use pivot tables for, which is creating other visualizations or tables underneath, selecting a figure and being able to see what makes up that figure in another dimension. So I have my vendor names underneath. I can select a single metric in here from any dimension and uh, see what makes up that figure in vendor. So Canadian whiskeys and Walcott Scott, that's what makes it up. We can take this down. We can show this from whatever level we want. Because if we want to see it from the city, we can see that in the list below. So super useful. So that was our video on pivot tables, really just an addition to the tables video. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you very soon for another Data Studio tutorial.